Crazy Crafts and today I'll be showing you how to make these cool octopus streamers. They're really easy to make and you'll only need a couple of things which we will probably find out. So, the first step to making this is grabbing a muffin cup. I'm choosing a white one. It could be any size. I use bigger ones here because I had bigger ones but now I don't. So I'm using a smaller one. Next thing you need to do is take your streamers, put them to your desired length, not too long because you don't want like a foot of streamer hanging from your ceiling or wherever you put it. So I'm only going to put about this much. It's good. I use that. I couldn't use scissors for this stuff, but I use it in my hands because the streamers are easy to rip. Okay, next thing you'll need to do is take that one streamer, take it by the end. <gasps> I lost it. <laughs> Sorry for that. Take it by the end, right here, in the middle, and start cutting it. Down the middle. I'll show you guys when it's done. Before you guys like uh, finish cutting the whole thing, remember to leave at least this much space in between the cut itself and the rest of the thing. So don't cut it all the way, just leave a little bit. So repeat this step and I will show you how much or how well it will look at the very end. So now that I've done four st three streamers, this is how it will show look like. It should have that much. You can also add different lengths of them, like I did here. In this one but as I said not to because I already have three of them and so let's get on with how okay. to do that. So now how to get the streamers into the cup you will need the muffin cup. You will take one streamer like this take the glue smear it all in the middle good enough for it that it will stick. Then you will have to crunch up. I just make it to a little, it should look like this. Crunch it up and place it inside, inside the glue. Then you will take the next streamer, do the same thing and put it in a different corner though this time. So like right here. Next one, you, and you'll take the final one again, put Put it like on top of the other streamers. So put glue on top of the streamers. And then place it in the middle. And now, once you straighten out the coffee, uh, the muffin cup should look like this. Okay, now that you have your watercolors ready for you, you will take your paintbrush and you have to color the very top of it to make it look like a shell of the previous one. You can take other colors too, so I'm going to add a little bit of darker green. Darker green. Then you make polka dots. Okay, once you are done with like painting your jellyfish, you will need... Okay, you. some of you guys will just want this. But since I want to make it cute and look like it's like under the sea with eyes, so it looks adorable, you will need to take a postcard, no, and like white paper. But I'm gonna use a note card for this. White paper. Gosh, why can't I find it? Why? Use a note card for this. A note card. Use a white side, and basically now we're gonna draw, like, cut into it, and uh, do little circles. Create the eyes whatever shape you want, but try making them even to make them look really cute. And you can always trim them. And then for the eyes itself, just use the watercolor paint again.
watercolor paint and draw little eyes. Paint little eyes on. They may not be perfect, but they'll be way better than having nothing. So there we go. Now we take our glue once again. Take your eyes, put it on the back, the glue. Just place them wherever you want. The eyes can be like looking into each other, away from each other, whatever you want with the eyes, honestly. Do whatever direction. I'm gonna make them look into each other because that's a good idea. And there you have it, folks. This is our jellyfish. Just let it dry so and it'll just like uncrinkle and it'll be better when it's dry. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!